Hello there, I am Giant Crow with my Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part we took on the beach route and uh, we battled we battled a lot of trainers on the beach actually. We went to the fancy restaurant and battled a lot of people in the devil battles I guess. And now we made it to Pastoria City. And let's take on the gym because we're ready to. Um, I got the HM05 for Defog, I think it was 05. So yeah, and um, I explained how I won't go through the muddy route that's uh, west of Pastoria because it's a pain for me. I don't really like that route. I try to avoid it because it's even it's optional too. Anyway, let's let's talk to the advice giver. The champion we'd wake, oh, oh, uh, I mean Crash your wake is the ma is a master of water type Pokemon. I'd say you got guts if you try to face down water types with fire types fire ground type pokemon but that's um part i'll leave up to you go and have some good battles okay so you want to use like grass and electric type pokemon in this gym so since i've done this gym a lot i know like the pa the, the um the puzzle and everything too let's push this down or push this orange switch let's take on this tuber guy first my body isn't the only thing I work on toughening up here. I also work on my Pokemon and my spirit. So with that, um, Rose grew to level 30 in that battle, so that's pretty cool. Let's switch to Jetta then. Okay, and we go around here, go across here, around here, up, hit the stairs right here, up again. Oh, this guy's a bar brooch, but I'll still, I could switch back to Rosen and be four times super effective against the bar brooches he has, but um, I'll use Fletzel instead, or Jetta. I have mastery over the incredible power of water, you won't win. Okay, so the fisherman only just happened to have one Pokemon, or one bar brooch, I should say. Oh yeah, we want to hit the switch right here. There we go. And after that, you want to go around here. And up to the sailor dude. Yeah, I think he has a lot of wingo two wingos or something like that. The sailors do, at least. I've traveled all over the globe while raising Pokemon. This is the gym I've chosen. You'll find it a hardy, hardful one. Handful for sure. Well, I'm actually breezing through the gym, so you know. Okay, that was a fairly easy battle. <laughs> So let's press that blue switch right there. Don't press this orange switch, but go across this bridge right here. And here's another um, tuber girl, or another tuber trainer. This one's a girl though, um, and I think she has um, a bee barrel or something, or... I don't, I can't remember, maybe just a bee barrel. I could be wrong though. I want to become a strong uh, Pokemon tra uh, strong trainer like Crash Awake. My bad, I was way off. She has a um a Zuril and a Zoom uh, a Zoomril and a Meryl on her team. Let's talk to this fisherman guy. I've landed the most fish Pokemon in the world. I'm next. Okay, after that long battle, we can hit the screen switch and go down these stairs right here. But do not press these two switches right there. 
But press this orange switch right here. And then you want to go up these stairs, down these stairs, up and around here. And, um, go up these stairs right here, of course. But I'm going to switch, um, Karen to the uh, front. And I want to use, like, a super potion on, on Jetta, by the way. Well, I could use two potions. I'm going to need ten for both those categories, for both those items. There we go. That'll work. I think this sailor has like wingles and stuff, so let's see. Uh, like the raging sea, I crash down and wash away everything before me. That's just how I roll. Okay, and then after that battle, you just want to hit the light blue switch right there, cross this bridge right here. If I can cross it, there we go. And then cross this bridge right here, and you're up to crash your wake. So I'm going to actually switch around my Pokemon again. Put Rose to the front, and I put Jetta in the... Yeah, basically the same order I did at the beginning... The, the same order it was at the beginning of this episode, or part, I should say. So let's talk to crash your wake when we're ready. Let's talk to him on the side, I guess. Uh, welcome. I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is the Pestoia Gym Leader. That's right, I'm Crash Awake. My Pokemon are tough. We're toughened up by stormy white waters. They'll take anything, they'll take everything you can throw at them and then pull you under. Victory is that, well, victory will be ours. Come on, let's get this, get it done. Yeah, um, he's pretty confident. We'll have to see about how he feels in this battle when we win. <laughs> when I win. Okay, start with Gyarados, okay. Now, I don't have an Orchid Eye Pokemon on my team, so, um, I do Grass, I guess, but, like, I have my secret weapon, which is Grass Knot, because I know Gyarados weigh weighs a lot, and the more the, po the foe weighs, the more damage it'll do. But, um, you know, if you have Lich type Pokemon with, or po Pokemon with Lich type moves, then it's four times super effective against this Gyarados. But I'm gonna start with Grass Nuts to see how much that does. Let's see here. It does half. Okay, that's good. You Swagger, but it missed. Yes, nice. Swagger will sharp raise your attack, but it will confuse you. So keep that in mind. Okay, of course you use a Super Potion. Okay, I might as well get him to use his potions early. Sooner than later, I guess, because later it's gonna be harder. I'm predicting, you know. But there goes the Gyarados, two grass knots, and he's down. Okay, nice. Got a lot of experience for Rose. Fortzo, okay. I'll stay in. I wanna see how much grass knot does on this thing. Use Ice Fang, ooh. Dang, I forgot he had Ice Fang. It's covering his weaknesses with the grass type Pokemon. Oh man. Wow, Rose fainted. Jeez. Hmm, I guess I'll send out my own Fortzel. They're both, my one's female and his is male, and we're both level 30. Okay. Defense fell, okay. Pursuit, it's gonna pursue on me, okay. On Jedi, I mean. Okay, there goes the Quick Claw. Aw oh, man, okay, it's gonna use a sister player, which I'm fine with. So that's good. Okay, one more crunch to do it unless he heals in like a jerk, you know? We'll have to see what happens. Oh, I used Super Potion, of course you did. Okay. More Crunch should do it. 
There we go, I'm faster than that, nice. So yeah, this Fortal has been a pain. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now it's left as Quagsire. Now, I don't have Rose with me anymore because it's fainted for the battle, at least. Um, whew, um, I'll just keep Jetta in. Now, I would strongly recommend you use a Grass type moves on this thing. I would be using one now, but, like, of course, Rose fainted sadly. Um, I don't have no crunches, so that kind of stinks. Just use Aqua Jet. It's neutral effective because it's half ground. So, and slam missed, okay. We're getting somewhere with this. Critical hit, nice. Let's use Mud Bomb, but that missed too, okay. That's cool. There's no way we This is where it gets exciting, okay. If you say so, Crash your Wake. If you say so. Yeah. Ah, oh, so close. I knew that one had fainted though, unless I get a critical hit. There goes the mud bomb. And accuracy fell, okay. She's one more aqua jet. And it hits, awesome. So that was an interesting battle. We we won. So that's good. Yeah. And with that jet I almost grew, grew to level 31. Awesome. Haha, <laughs> I got so excited. Uh dang I missed I couldn't read all your dialogue, it was too fast. It's for the three thousand six hundred pocket dollars though. It seems that under, it seems the undertow pulled me under, uh, but I had a great time battling with you. You have earned this. You got the fen badge from Wake. Awesome. You you need that fen badge to use the hidden seat hidden move defog outside of battle. There, this is a special board for me in recognition of your team's power. TM55, which is Brian, which I'll explain in his dialogue. I don't think, yeah, he didn't get, I think some of his Pokemon may have, known Brian, may have known Brian, but I'm not sure. He'll explain right here that that TM55 contains the move Brian. It focus double the damage on targets with less than half their HP left. Use it to end battles uh, decisively. Yeah, it's, I've used it before on some of my Pokemon, and it's actually a really good move. But I won't probably want to jet the fault soul or anything or Jetta. Okay, let's talk to the vice giver. Oh Steven, you beat the gym waiter. So how was it? Did you enjoy your battle against Wake? I mean Crash your Wake? Sure winning is important, but don't forget to have fun too. I think Wake I mean Crash your Wake showed you what I mean by fun. <laughs> you got that right. Pastoria City Pokemon Gym Waiter, Crash your Wake, qualified tr certified trainer Sam Steven. Okay, cool. So there's that. And we can just, um, let's go back to the Pokemon Center and heal, which is not this way, of course. It's not this way. Okay, so, it's right here, okay, cool. Okay, so, I'm going to switch to, um, who? that's a tough one. Switch to Inferno, and then Jedi can switch to Bronze. Yeah, Hans and switch with Rose right here. Okay, so um, I'll switch to I'll put Karen up front. Okay. So yeah. So this bit, I'm gonna end the part right here. So this has been then my Pokemon Diamond Redo walkthrough guide part. The next part will take on. This Team Galactic run over here because he's suspicious and stuff. And after you beat, after you beat the gym and get the gym badge, you can actually um battle him and see what happens. Or you'll eventually battle him, I should say. But first, let me show off the new friend badge real quick, actually, before I forget and officially end the part. I guess you could say. Wait, it's not on. It's not on the Pokecatch. Never mind. Let me switch back to my cool app, my favorite app, I should say. Um. There we go. It's not on the poke edge, but it's right here. So let's open the badge case. All these badges are rusty. I'll cut to where these are all shiny and stuff. 
Okay, after several minutes of uh, shining up badges, we got the fourth gym badge of Sinel. And I like this. I like the design of the fourth gym badge. It's just a circle, but I like the like how it has that curve or the arch, and then has the like spiky top or whatever. And I like the color scheme. It's just like blue and silver. That's kind of cool. So yeah, here's the badge for you. So um, now I'll officially end the part, so this has been then my Pokemon Diamond Redux Walk the Guide part. The next part will take on this Team Galactic Grunt, as I said before. Uh, eventually see him at battle him, at least I should say that. So this has been Janko again. I would like to you can thank you for watching again, goodbye. And I hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redux Walk the Guide.